Uh, I'm Gary, um, I've been doing this since I was 16, about 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Um, did a course in countryside care and a course in countryside management, and basically I did one office job. Um, I've been contractors for various wildlife organisations, and that's only as a subcontractor, not employed, um, again, because I did one office job. Um, everything I do is in what I consider my best practice so I try not to use heavy machines because I don't want the ground damage and if you do that you get sort of bramble and sting nettles coming back and you lose your flora. Um, I try to sell my products myself um, only because the markup the shops do basically. Um, if I could cut out that middleman I'll get much higher money for my product which makes it more viable to sell but if you are doing charcoaling um, and are committed and do have a ring of shops local shops to do it you can make a nice living from it you won't be rich but it'd be a nice living um, as long as you if you want to do this it's, it's great um, but Please don't start coming in with tractors and anything because it's just destroy the woodland. Um, all this is carbon neutral and even my vehicle makes it's carbon neutral because of this because everything grows back. And the more natural I keep things, the better. Um, yeah, try it. <laughs> this is my charcoal kiln um, and basically all the tops of the trees and the smaller diameter trees will be used for charcoal. And the bigger trees be used for furniture making. Um, everything will be used and tops, some will be left for habitat, others will be burnt so the floor is nice and clean and that way you get a much more diverse wildlife ground. Um, this is an 8 foot charcoal kiln and it will take bits of wood up to 8 inches in diameter and 2-3 foot long and will burn from anywhere between 16 and 36 hours. Um, and then after that, you need to leave it to cool for at least two days, a day at minimum. Because um, the tiniest spark, the size of a pinhead, as soon as this lid comes off, will start to burn again. Um, it's all carbon neutral because everything I'll cut down here will grow back naturally through coppicing. Um, so you can see the regeneration on ash trees. And even the oaks will coppice up to about 70 years old. Um, so everything is coming back naturally. Um, in the summer months it becomes really really good for butterflies in here. It's like a mini glade. Um, also really good for beetles. Um, and so the plan is to actually fence this area off for about three years to stop the deer eating the regeneration. And after that the fence will come down and the kiln might move in three years or we might stay here this depends where the next copper section will be um, that's basically it